Hi everyone, welcome to our first Scratch coding lesson. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Today, you're going to learn how to animate your name. It should be pretty cool. I've already done my name. Watch what happens when I hit the green flag. The letter P starts flashing. I like that. The letter E starts spinning. The letter K does both. It spins and it flashes. I like that one. What does this one do? I can't remember. Oh yeah, it flashes on and off. It's hiding and showing itself. And the last letter in my name glides to random spots all over the place. I also put in a dinosaur because I think dinosaurs are kind of cool and it's growling. So look, I've animated my name today. I'm going to show you how to animate your name using Scratch. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Scratch website. I'm already here. Here's the address, scratch.mit.edu. Maybe your teacher wants to write that in the board somewhere so you can type in scratch.mit.edu. And when you've got it, you're going to hit the create button because we're creating a brand new project today. And we're just going to pause for a minute, let everybody catch up and go to the Scratch website and then hit the create button and I'll show you what to do next. All right, now that you've found the Scratch website, I'm going to click on the Create button because we're creating a brand new project today. So I'm going to click Create right there. If a tutorial pops up right here, a big green screen, you can just exit it because I'm doing the tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the Scratch cat right there. And you can do that by clicking on the little garbage can right there. So we're going to say goodbye to the Scratch cat. Goodbye, cat. And now we're going to find the first letter of our name. So look how I do that. I'm going to go way down here to the bottom where it says choose a sprite. See right down here at the bottom. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom past all these other sprites until I find the letters. And then I'm going to click on the first letter of my name. For me, it's the letter P. So I'm going to click on the letter P. And now I'm going to animate the letter P. Watch how I do that. I'm going to go over here to the events button right there to yellow. I'm going to click on it and find the one with the green flag on it. And I'm going to drag it over here and let go of it. Hey, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see this at home or at school, wherever you happen to be working. So look, I got the green flag and I did that by going to the events button. It's yellow. I grabbed the green flag code and dragged it over here. When the green flag is clicked, we're going to have the letter change colors. And so look, the colors are under the looks button. It's purple right there. So I'm going to click on the purple one. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and find the one that says change color. It's right there. I'm going to grab it and drag it over and connect it to the green flag. So now look, when the green flag is clicked, the letter should change color. Watch what happens. Ready? Green flag in. Ah, I did it. It changed color. Now it's green. Hey, but I got an even better trick for you. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit so it's not connected. And now I'm going to go to the control button. It's orange right there. And I'm going to grab the forever loop right there. It says forever right on it. And I'm going to pull it over and, and connect it to the change color effect. Perfect. Now I'm going to connect it to the green flag. And look what should happen. When the green flag is clicked, it should forever change color over and over and over again change color effect forever and ever and ever let's see what happens ready green flag and go it's changing color effect forever and ever great hey i'm gonna let you try that go over to the event button get the green flag drag it over here then you're gonna go to the looks button you're gonna grab the change color effect right down there and then you're gonna get to the uh, from the control the forever loop and put it around the change color so that you can change the first letter of your name, the color forever and ever. So give that a try. And when you got that one done, I'm going to show you how to do something cool with the next letter. So take a moment and let me know when you, or when you're caught up. Uh, just press play and we'll start again. All right, I'm going to do the next letter of my name. So I'm going to go way down here and choose a sprite down there at the bottom. I'm going to go get the next letter of my name, and for me, it's the letter E. So I'm going to click on the letter E right there. And now I'm just going to move it over here. Actually, I'm going to move the letter P to the end over here. Perfect. 
Now I'm going to move the letter he, E here. Now I'm going to code the letter E to spin. Watch how I do that. So I'm going to go to the events, green flag again. Uh, I'm going to go to the motion button. It's blue. I don't think we've used that one yet. Motion. And it's the very second one. Turn 15 degrees. I'm going to grab that down here. And I'm going to put a forever loop around that. So control, grab the forever, connect it there, and connect it. Great. Now the letter E should start spinning forever and ever. Ready? Green flag and go. Look at that. My letter P is flashing colors. The letter E is spinning like crazy. So uh, I've animated the first two letters of my name. I'm going to let you try that now. And if you get stuck, please look at my code and, and you can copy it to get your letters animated. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to try that. And when you're ready, we'll start the next part. Okay, I'm going to go get the next letter of my name. So I'm going to click down and choose the sprites button. Scroll all the way down. For me, the next letter is a K. I'm going to click on the letter K. I'm just going to grab it and move it over here a little bit. Great. And now, watch. I'm going to have it change color and spin. So I'm going to go to the events. I'm going to grab green flag again. And then I'm going to take the um, turn 15 degrees code. And I'm going to grab the um, change color effect. So now look. Turn 15 degrees, change color effect, and I'm going to have that go on forever. So I'm going to go to the control again, grab a forever, and put it around those two. And now, green flag, forever turn 15 degrees, change color, over and over and over and over again. Watch this one. Ready? Green flag and go. So it's changing color and <clears throat> turning 15 degrees forever and ever. So I'm going to let you do that. Get another letter of your name and code it just the way I have, turning 15 degrees and changing color forever and ever. And when you're ready, I'll show you how to do the next one. Okay, I'm going to animate the next letter in my name. Watch how I do that. I'm going to click on choose a sprite down here at the bottom. I'm going to go down and get the next letter. And for me, it's another K. So I'm going to click on K right there. I'm just going to move it over a bit. Now watch, I'm going to make this one uh, hide and show or go invisible and visible again. Watch what I do. So I'm going to go to the events, get a green flag again. We use a lot of green flags when we're coding. And then I'm going to go to the looks button right there. It's the purple one. And I'm going to go all the way down a bit. And you can see there's this code that says show. And there's one that says hide. That's what we're going to use. So watch, I'm going to get a um, forever loop and connect it to the green flag. So, green flag forever, show, then hide, then show, then hide, and do that forever and ever and ever. Watch what happens. Ready, green flag, and go. Oh, it's hiding right now. Well, you know what's happening is uh, it's going so fast that we can't really see it. We need to slow down the computer a little bit. So, I'm going to go and grab a wait one second. Do you see that one right there? It's in the control. I'm going to put it in between show and hide. And then, green flag. You can see it's showing and hiding a little bit. I'm going to go get one more wait and put it right after the hide. So, show, wait a second. Hide, wait a second. And do that forever and ever. So, ready. Green flag and go. Now, I can see the letter K is showing and hiding. It's like flashing. So you can try that too using the looks button where you'll find show and hide down at the bottom a little bit. I also have a forever loop. And now I have a wait one second and the wait is in the control in the orange one. See right at the top there. I used two waits. Wait for a second after the show and wait for a second after the hide. So I'm going to let you try that. And if you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. Okay, next letter, um, I'm going to choose a sprite. And for me, in my name, it's the letter A. So I'm going to go way down here and click on the letter A right there. And I'm just going to move it over a bit. And now I'm going to code it so that it glides to random places forever and ever. Watch how I do that. So I'm going to go to the events, green flag, control where I can find the forever, connect it there. And now watch, I'm going to go to the motion button. It's the blue one at the top. 
and I'm going to scroll down a little bit and glide to a random spot. Glide to a random position. So when the green flag is clicked, the letter A should forever glide to a random place on the screen. Okay, ready. Green flag and let's watch the letter A. Go. Look at the letter A. It's gliding to a random place forever and ever. I don't know where it's going to go next. So it's going to glide to a random position. You can try that now. Get the next letter of your name and make it and code it so that it forever glides to a random position. And when you're done that, I got a last, a last few tricks to show you, and then we're done for the day. I hope you're enjoying this one. Anyways, take a look at my code, copy if you need to, and try to make your next letter glide to a random position. All right, before I show you the last three tricks, I just want to talk to the teachers for a moment. Teachers, we've already addressed two of the key components in the curriculum. Sequential events, as you can see here, first this, then this, then this, then this. This is an example of sequential coding. And repeated events, as you can see here, forever glide to a random position. So the letter is gliding to a random position over and over and over again. It's repeating itself forever and ever and ever. We'll continue to address all of the key components in the Ontario curriculum. But students, let's get back to coding our cool animations. All right, last three coding tricks for today. I think you're gonna like them. First of all, look, hey, I can make this letter glide faster or slower just by changing one little number. Look, it says glide for one second to random place. I might make that glide for three seconds to a random place and it'll go a lot slower. Watch, green flag. And you'll notice it's gliding, but it's taking a lot longer than it was before. It's going a lot slower. You can change the speed of the gliding letter by changing the how many seconds it takes to go there. So you might want to experiment with how fast it glides um, to random places right there. Next, I'm going to get an animal that I like. I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to go get an animal that I like from the sprite. So I'm going to choose a sprite. Uh, there's lots of cool animals. I'm going to choose a dinosaur and a dinosaur I like is this one. And I'm just going to move the dinosaur over here into the corner. And I'm going to code the dinosaur to do a couple of neat things. Watch what I'm going to do. Events. Green flag. I'm going to have it um, change color effect. So I'm going to go to the looks button again. Change color effect. And something else kind of neat. Change costume. A lot of these sprites have different costumes. So look, I'm going to grab this one that says next costume right there. And watch what happens. So change color effect and next costume, and I'm gonna put a forever loop around that, so forever. Okay, watch the dinosaur. It's gonna change color and switch to its next costume, and it's gonna do that forever and ever and ever. Watch the dinosaur, ready, here we go, and go. Changing costumes, and it's changing its color effect. That's kinda of neat, although it's kinda of fast, but that's good for today. The last trick I wanna show you is how to get a backdrop because right now it's a plain boring white backdrop i don't like that there's lots of cool backdrops to choose from so look i'm going to go way down here in the bottom again but this time i'm going to click on the backdrops button right there choose a backdrop there's lots for you to choose from you can choose whatever you want i'm going to choose a simple one called stars i like that one but of course you can choose whatever one you want i'm going to double click stars and there we go we've got my stars backdrop if you feel like you've lost your code, not to worry. Just click on the animal or the letter and your code should appear again there. Hey, I hope you liked that lesson today, animating your name. I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next few lessons. You're going to really like them. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks, everyone.